Pine versus Chili Chili next. Right. Oh. Uh-uh. Nah, that, that character, after what Meister has done to people online. Oh. So definitely, this is uh, a rough matchup. Like, K9 did really well against Shine, but Shine was playing Donkey Kong. That, that, that guy called him. And right. Luigi himself, he's performing super well. And to keep in mind, Sheik is relatively light, too, so he's going to be very vulnerable to these early kill setups in the weak I feel like K9 definitely has a Luigi matchup experience, and he has the tools to edge guard Luigi. I feel like that was the main difference between what we saw between Luna and Chili Chili. Those options, and he also has like, the needles to contend with him recovery. He's got to confirm with the late hit up there into the, the down smash the bouncing fish. But Chili Chili he just needs one way. Oh, he oh. missed it. And that was he was trying to uh, just push him just ever so closely to the closer to the blast zone so he couldn't DI it as well. Usually, you don't want to risk that, especially on like that was a huge missed opportunity. But right. you know, Chili Chili, as scary as it sounds, it's like one good conversion away from him. I mean, if he had gone that second jab lock, that would have been death. Oh, tries to go for the up air conversion, but cannot on him to find it. It's such a threat to Sarah. He can't reach the tech option. The up air as well doesn't kill just in the great air dodge will get away with it, but calls out the option that Chelichi is going for K9. Was in the position for it, but like you said earlier, Luigi they just go so low, and there's the cyclone. Instantly gets the stage control itself, but K9 playing it super safe. This is exactly what I see. Right. See Chili Chili just trying to find his kill option. Not going to be able to do it with that up smash, but he knows that all he needs is a single grab or just a single run up, uh, turn around up smash. I like, that, I like that from K9. He instantly went for stage control. Right. Instead of reading anything out, here comes the fourth throw. Trying to force something else. Great trade working out for K9. He's got to do that. He's got to contest the Luigi off stage. That's simply we didn't see last time because he didn't have the option to. But he calls out the side special. That's relatively lagging. I'm not sure what K9 was trying to pull off there. All right, quick Cyclone to break out of the combo. And now, that Cyclone, such a good move. The arms are tangible on startup, so you can just beat out a lot of moves in the game with that. And I love K9's movement. He's not just running, he's like walking, trying to see what option that Chili Chili does. And like you said earlier, this is the bait and punish that you need to have, especially against Sheik, because like one wrong move against Luigi, and you die, but he knows he's going for the grab doesn't space out for the cycle. It's such a good option that throws so many people off guard, and you know it's such a good move when it throws players, and especially at this kind of caliber, and a missed opportunity. Here comes for a minimal punish, actually. Ooh. Yeah, he wanted to try to extend it super hard, but unfortunately, just barely didn't get enough drift on the back air. Air dodge. Trying to get something out of it. Goes for a hard beat the up smash. That should be a huge punish on that one, the F smash. K9. Oh. Oh, no way. Yep, no and way. you gotta challenge that side beat. And K9 knows, like, okay, you have to release it here, otherwise you're dead. So I'm gonna get that free kill. Okay, Thank you. Go. Yeah, I was worried that Chili was going for another cycle. So mm. I think K9 was ready for it that time. Spacing out with these pairs, let the Smash Force Sheik like to see. Right. Ooh, but what? Oh, died? I feel like he shouldn't have died to that, and maybe he air dodged into the blast zone, maybe? But because, she's like. She's light, too, so. I mean, she's light, but she's not that light. She's pretty light. Uh-oh. And you're keep in mind, that's like Chili Chili's like only grab too, and it's like a relatively even game because like she needs to win neutral so many times in order to win a game and you know Chili Chili. It's just a few hits away and she's gotta be careful. A dash grab from K9 trying to get something down, playing we both play this really patient game, but K9 not afraid to be in this corner though. Alright. K9 knows that any misspaced area, but oh, what? Jumbo. Oh my god. No, I feel like he just called the shield drop. Because I mean, Cause usually. Broke shield, right? I don't think it'll break a shield. Quite a bit of damage it does, it. but I don't think. I think it would have been like a skittle, like just like like 5% of the shield left. And if he had held it a second longer, then it would have broken. Maybe. But I feel like K9 just dropped shield trying to throw out an aerial. Or trying to go for a parry attempt, but. Right. Chili Chili. Barely clinching that out. Right. Because usually you'll see Luigi's do jab, jab, and then turn around, grab to get the, the grab because then you condition them in the shield. Oh, no, no. Chili is the opposite of a standard Luigi. Oh, yeah. Like, he, gets, he goes for these conversions. Right. He's going for this here. Here comes K9. You know, uh, I feel like that's a very interesting choice as a Luigi main just because, you know, most Luigi mains, they, they get the grab at zero. They're going like, aha, I got the zero to death. But Chili Chili instead opts for the damage. 
mean, sometimes, like, pulling off the combo is actually pretty difficult as well, and it maintains a lot of discipline, and the fact that you also have to, like, get it at an accurate timing in a tournament setting as well. Great reversal, K9 should be able to come back with this recovery, trying to do the best as he can, avoiding the grabs. But that's one thing I love, K9. So good at avoiding the grab attempts from Chili Chili, but it's just the fact that it's just the character's weakness. Yep. And the quick up smash will take K9 out at below 100% after before the hit. Trying to get a conversion now with that back there. It's just not looking too good. Like, you win the neutral attempts, you get those kills, but you're not a joker. That doesn't kill any early, Ooh. but he calls him the jump using the bouncing fish. Exactly what I want to see from K9. But this zero, like this zero percent, Kana gets all those hits in, but then Chili Chili hits you with this grab. Thankfully, he's able to air dodge out of it and avoids the grab itself, but only 20% on that conversion? I mean, that's kind of the one bane of playing Sheik is that you can hit your opponent a million times and you'll do like, like game stop, refund, change. Oh. I mean, he tried to contest the fair, but Chili Chili going on him, realizing it, there's the point, and the F smash only the second part hit. Oh, he goes so deep for it. And also, I'm starting to realize that a lot of uh, people, they will purposely get hit by Luigi Missile, since right. it'll cut off the recovery. Oh, but a quick down throw up B will take out K9 stock, and Chili Chili has been finding all these early kills. Uh, he doesn't get the zero step, but he gets the conversion to kill you at the red. At the right. He doesn't miss that. Yep. He opts to not do the zero to death, instead going for the damage so that he can get the easier uh, down throw up the combos. Because he knows, he just has to win neutral a few right. times and he wins. This is Sheik after all, and a great inhibit crab. It's such a threat, and even though he does flub it occasionally, 31%, like that's relatively good for just a two hit combo, and he's already carrying the percent of needs to be super careful, and can I being a whole stock down, it doesn't spell too well for him. All right, and he's kind of fishing for these kills, but calls out the side beat with the down tilt. That was really good awareness from K9 to know that, like, hey, with the spacing of that, I can get a down tilt and then convert that into an up air and maybe get the kill. Oh, oh gets the parry, right. yep. So that answers the question that we had earlier of, of what he was trying to go for. It definitely looks like from the parry. Like, yeah. K9 is not that type of player who wants to like, kind of just drop your kill just like that, but yeah. he's got to go for something. Barely avoids the grab, 131%. So good at this, and oh, he lets it rip early. That's a good potential right. for K9. He can't come back from this. You know, I wonder if K9 purposely whiffed that just to bait out the the upbeat or the the downbeat, because it looked like that wasn't like anywhere near where Luigi was going. Uh, it's, so, it's so such a struggle. Oh, oh, yeah, it's, oh, I'm not gonna be able to find anything out of it. But you know what? He's made up some percent, and all he needs is just a solid edge guard at this point. But 88 percent. You know, he has to worry about up smash. He has to worry about down throw, down, throw, down B, down throw, up B. <gasps> but there's the up smash. Oh, no, but there you go. Mini pop off. Oh, yeah. Alabama Invader. 